Hi, welcome back to our Spreadable Parent Q&A. We get a lot of questions from parents about behavior at the park. And this week we have a question from a parent who says, my child is not very safe at the park. What can I do when they're being unsafe? So the park is a hotbed for this, right? There's so much to be climbing on and jumping off of, and there's other kids and they're so excited. So our kids really can get ramped up and we talk about different colors, like right in the green zone, they're safe, they're focused, they're ready to learn. When they're in the yellow zone, they're starting to get a little bit out of control, maybe a little bit silly. When they get into the red zone, they're super unsafe. So it can help for kids to have that concept of what what zone are we in right now? What color are you in right now? And at the park, we're expected to have fun. We can have fun and we can still be safe and in the green zone. So one way you can do that is just by setting your kids up for that. So just teaching into what are we expected to do at the park. But once you're at the park, if you notice that they're starting to be unsafe, you know, sometimes parents will just wait and we just hope that it will go away. But once our kids start ramping up, it's really important to nip that in the bud. So what you can do is you can just come in and say, hey buddy, we're gonna take a break and just get our bodies back into the green zone. Let's sit over here. So again, it's not a timeout. It's not a you're being bad. So you have to take some time right now. You're just saying, hey buddy, here's what I noticed. You're starting to get a little ramped up. So let's take a break. Let's get our body back into the green zone. And then here's what you do. You sit with your child and you say, let's look all around. Can you just point out three kids that are being safe? Show me what they're doing. What do you see? And they may not be able to at that point. Maybe they're just still a little wriggly or they're just a little confused. So you say, oh, okay, I see that one kid who's going down the slide uh, feet first. That looks pretty safe to me. What else do you see? Yeah, I see those kiddos are in the sandbox. They're not throwing sand. They're just playing super calmly. They're digging. What else do you see? Point out three kids. So really go through this process so they can open up that awareness. That there are other kids here that I can be safe. And what does safe behavior look like? If you've got other kids with you and it doesn't feel like you can take that break with them, scoop in the other kid, grab a couple of things for them to play with and say, we're all gonna take a break together. So it's not a punishment. We're all gonna take a break together. We're gonna play a little game, include your other sibling. And hey, will you help us point out some five kids that are being safe? So really include them too. But it is important, I think, just to really notice when they're just starting to get a little ramped up because otherwise they're gonna stay in that arc and it's only gonna get bigger. So giving them that chance and that practice to come back and um, calm themselves down so then they can go out. And then once they go back out, you can say, okay, buddy, let's go Let's go practice. You use that language, let's go practice being safe. I'm gonna watch you for about five minutes, okay? And then go let your child go out and then pretty soon thereafter, Go back to your child and say, you know what I just noticed? You're being so safe right now. I saw you taking turns on the merry-go-round. I saw you playing tag really safely. So point out what they are doing right and really positively reinforce that safe behavior and then say, okay, awesome, keep it up. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. The park is just a hotbed for challenging behaviors, we know. So keep sending your questions our way and we will see you next time. Real moments are learning moments.